Okay, I've taken the time to set up the bus. We'll be belting all the goods off the trains and then doing some balancing and then here's the bus. We got four lanes of copper, four lanes of iron, two plastic, two steel, two brick, two stone, and then one coal and one sulfur. And eventually the um Obviously, we'll upgrade to blue belts once we get some blue belts in place. For the time being, I've set up a temporary location up here. And here we're loading steel and plastic onto a train. And we're also loading lube and acid. And we're just getting it from our existing, the, the old base. So because I already have plastic set up over here. So I needed plastic in order to make the blue belts because it takes the red circuits. So this is the this will be my undergrounds the blue undergrounds and these blue undergrounds as you might know, just they basically eat gears for lunch. 80 gears, and they. So we're going to be spinning up uh, quite a few belts of gears and getting it over here to. So this is what has always been what a kind of a difficult thing. It's, it's trying to get enough gears off of these beaconed yeah, it's just always a, a kind of a difficult thing so let's just see what what we can come up with here I don't have any blueprints for this, so I'm just going to have to, oops, I got those in the wrong, wrong location. There we go. So we have to pull off all the gears as quickly as we can. And the iron, we say we're using the productivity module, so we won't be burning as much iron. So I was thinking if we, if we have this many outputs, we may be able to get it to work and obviously I'll have to upgrade to blue belts before this will be working at full speed so we'll take some off here, we'll take some off here and then we'll take some off here as well and then we'll load from the bottom and let's keep this consistent okay we don't need that but we'll go ahead and put that there so the iron is going to come in from the bottom delete that one and then we should be able to get power on each corner there should be plenty of room so that's what I'm thinking will work for us let's uh, go ahead and paste it down here now we're going to have to provide that thing some iron It says I need two belts. Well, I believe that. So let's go ahead and set up two belts of iron coming out. Looks like this is going to have to be moved up one. So 
in it goes, and then up it goes. In and then up. So we're going to bring these two belts and pull it down along. Okay, two belts. I'm going to slide this whole thing up just one. Okay, it's going to rest it come with, will be coming with the some more iron for these up uh, for just this one I believe this is the one that needs iron and this one just needs the gears and this just needs the gears and of course the drop of uh, lubricant so let's go ahead and pull the lubricant over oh I didn't even bring the lubricant up okay that lubricant is gonna go on this side okay well that's inconvenient I'm going to stagger these so that I can do 90 degrees without mixing fluids. And I'll have to fix this one. There we go. And the nice thing about these bins is that you don't have to worry about which direction they go. Just any 90 degree will work. Okay, and then we'll, we'll need four more. No, two more. Copy that, and then we'll pull this. Okay, let's scoop this over one. So we're going to leave room for... There's the bus. Let's just put these up there. That's where I want it to be, so that's copy that again and then paste it so that okay. That's fine. do the same 90 degree thing down here up here so well it looks like yeah there it is okay and then paste it again turning it that way so there's our there's our bus okay all right we need iron up here, so I'm going to run iron. I'll just run it along here. All right, so to get that there, we need to put it. I'm just going to take this, this one here. around that final assembler because I need to to, to put um, the belts of gears around it. It has to have complete, it'll be completely surrounded by them. 
So one of them is going to come down, starting from about there, and then I guess I'll take it to here, and then to there, and then there we go. And the top one oops, I gotta grab some more. That's not enough. Give me a whole stack of them. Okie dokie. So now I may need to work with the the belts a little more. But it's gonna it'll be fine for now, and I really won't be able to tell until I get blue belts going. Because the, the red belts just won't be fast enough. They won't there won't be enough throughput. Alright, let's put some power to this thing. power pole right here in the corner probably down here as well okay and then stack fill stack inserters massive amounts cap this thing off at about that many I I want the source, I want this to be the, the bulk of them will be down here. And up here it would just be, you know, for manufacturing, I don't need to hold a whole lot up here. And now the tricky, cool part. So right now we're getting power from up here, but I'm going to change that. the copper wire to disconnect this one over here and then we're gonna so we're gonna have 200 well a hundred let's go let's go ahead and do 200 so we're gonna have 200 stored here and I'm gonna create a use a power switch And we'll be getting our power from the switch, not from the pole. And then, oops, I shouldn't have put that back. There we go. And that's hooked up to the pole. And then we're going to count the chest. If we have less than 200, then it's going to power it. Okay, so we must we must be missing some parts here. We're missing. Oh, great! I I forgot like one of the most important things. Well, I don't. It's not the most important thing, but it is an important thing. And I'm going to have to. I'll just, I'll just belt that over. There we go. And then one more power pole. And there's the belt that we need. Oh. 
Okay, let's put a stack on this one. Looks like he... Okay, I'm going to change this. And I'll give him... We'll put two on that one. And we'll put 200 in that. And I'm going to do a desire now. We're going to decide both of these. So we want this to be greater, less than 200. And we'll output a P for power. And this one's going to be these. And then we're going to send the chests not to the switch, but to the deciders. And then the power will be either, so we want either one of those, either one to be indicator that we want this thing to operate. So, so if P is greater than zero, that means any one of those needs to be filled. So this guy is eating those gears as quickly as possible. I'm going to go ahead and move this down. Now I have to change the this build, so I'm going to have to. I need this one to go a little further, as far as it can go. There we go. And this guy's going to have to come. Can he jump across? No, he can't. Well, well, well. What to do? What to do? Okay, I can. I can do what, where he's already pointed. No, okay, I can, but I'm going to have to move these two down. And then he'll come over like this, and that should be good. take two. Okay, we're going to speed that up. This guy should only take one. No, he takes two as well. Let's just speed those up too. So. Now we're going to do a condition for this inserter here. We don't want this to operate until we've got our, our 200. I need to do it equal. So we're going to say you have to be, we want our to meet our quota for the blue before we start bothering with uh, the reds. <clears throat> so as soon as we get our quota on the the blue undergrounds, then we'll start placing the red ones. All right, so right now, all of these are, have been going down into the, uh, the supply train. 
So we're until this is filled up, we'll never get our 200 up here to test our power, to see if our power switch is working properly. So the good thing about holding off on this chest is that we won't be making these as fast as possible. We'll be these will be waiting for the blue one here to finish first before it starts taking gears. So I think if I move this this one up here, well then I won't be sharing beacon edges. So that would mean a little more power drain. But it still I think would be nice if I didn't have to I was thinking of moving this like this and putting it on this side over here. Okay, and the power, yeah, these are going that way, so I probably want to switch those around. And then take that out, take that away, put that one in there. We only need one of those and two outputs. Okay, and I'm going to go out the other way, so these won't be coming from here. So this would be a belt, and then this will be the underground, and then out we come. And, oh, I forgot to... No, I didn't forget. Okay, this is, this is, this is fine. going to be going up there anymore. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. I I got it. I got I got uh, this is this is going to work out good, I think. So the iron's going to go in here. And I'm going to I'm not going to bring those out the com complete back side of this. I'm going to bring it out on the front. And that'll go up. So this has to be like that, and then there, and then up. And this one will have to change to a belt. Flip that around the other way, and another underground. And these will merge. And go up here. this. So we need a power here. And these need to be powered. 
So let's clean up these poles. And we need some more inserters. So there. That's taking up a lot less space. I, I have plenty of room to go as horizontal as I need to. But eventually I will run out of room going up. After, you know, all of the items have to be made for them all. So how are we doing here? Are we, have we been making lots of... Uh, yes, we're actually making quite a few. With our limited, limited technology. feeding this thing enough. Maybe we need more more iron. Yep, those things are hungry. And it's it's really the what the end game in Factorio is kind of funny. Cause to me it's the end game the end game in Factorio is trying to make these things trying to output all the stuff that you're able to make once you start using beacons. Because this thing is going to be so fast that my, my real challenge is to literally be able to pull all the stuff off of there in such a confined space with all the beacons around. And that's like something that, that you're constantly trying to do. So right now we're probably running out of iron and I'll probably have to wait till the, the, we upgrade to blue belts. So is this guy... Nope, we're still... We're still needing more, so... I think it's getting pretty close to being... Well, it has to fill up the chest too, though, doesn't it? So those are almost done, but once those are finished, then we'll be filling this up for another 250. So it's going to be a while before I can actually test my switch. We are very, very slowly making number three speed modules for the beacons. It's, it's going to be a while for those to actually get filled in. But I can grab what modules we have only 26 and then let my construction bots fill these in all right so that means this one here is finished so now it's probably just yeah it's just waiting for iron There's a chance that I might want to run more belts of iron to that thing. Because it says I need 2.7 belts of iron. And well, this isn't going to be 0.7. So I think that I need to, to um, I can isolate this. Yeah, I need more iron. There's just no way around it. I'm going to have to run more iron. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and, and give it more than it needs. Four somewhere. Yes, right there.
so this one's going to go there, and this one's going to go there and there. Okay, and that doesn't go there. Okay. So let's get this iron down to the... Oh boy, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be difficult. kind of a mess but I'm gonna do it anyway I think I'm gonna it's time to start using my blue undergrounds okay so I'm gonna have to feed that on this side so it's gonna be it's gonna come down here Oh, that's nice having the blue undergrounds. Yep. And I'm going to send this one here and then like that. So this will be this side. So that's going there and this is going to go there. So we should immediately start making more here. So let's Now I'm going to have to run the other one the same way, and I, boy, there's not going to be much room, is there? There isn't any room. So this one's going to be crazy, but I'm going to do it. I think it has to come from... I can move that guy. So he's going to be looking like this and then that's going to go to to here to here let's just start using them this way and that's nice okay to hook him up. should have been four so I'm gonna move him over one I don't like the way that I did this because these are on they're not standard enough for me
That's because I flipped it around when I pasted it like that. Should be about finished. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, he should be about finished. I can finish him off. If I dump, dump half of my supply in there and then take that up. Okay, now we're finished with the, um, the supply train. So now we should be start accumulating here. 